Hello and welcome back to City Skylines as the sun rises up above the city on another beautiful day and and I have found out how to change the stoplights at intersections yes so we should be able to click here and if we click we get the routes park a bridge brilliant so these are all the all the cars coming in and going out yes I, I don't need the tooltips I forgot to turn off the uh got to turn off the tutorials but that's fine but 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 if we click so we click back up here this was a problem last time if I center it in the camera yes this this road uh, section here was a problem so the cars would come into the city and they would get here and they go oh I do not know where to go these uh, these stoplights are all red and no so you hit this and then you hit junctions and then you go Go away, stoplights. Right, done. And I think I'll do the same thing here as well. Not that we need to do it now, but it's going to ease up traffic. So hopefully the traffic just goes, yeah, you know what? We're just going to do what we need to do. Interestingly, not all of these junctures have stoplights on them. Curious. And in fact, why would there even be a stoplight here and here? Don't know. Have no idea. Let's just bulldoze that while we uh, while we can see it, while it's in our field of view. Nice. Looks like they need the cops there. Uh, interesting. Also, if you put down one of the pre-made roundabouts, it doesn't seem to have stoplights. So there are other places that do. And I think we could probably get rid of them. So blammo there and there. Probably here as well, because there doesn't seem to be that much traffic coming into this section. Um, I don't know. Can, can vehicles hit each other? I'm not sure. No idea. Uh, we will also remove them from there. And here, since these roads don't actually go anywhere. And also here. Done, done, and done. Anywhere else where we need to remove the stop light. Um, let's do it from here and here. Since, again, this, that just goes to the shopping area. Uh, there. Don't need one there. Arbitrary stop lights here and here. Huh. Let's just get rid of them all over the place. Do we need them? Do they do anything? Probably not if traffic knows how to, you know, give way and the like. So let's just keep removing stuff from here and here and here. Um, anywhere else. Oh, oh, another building needs to be removed. Click, clickety clicks. Done. Any any other buildings while we're at it? I don't think so. I think we're good for... Yeah, no, I think we're, we're absolutely fine for buildings and the like oh look all those people in the tunnel under the ground so it was quite worthwhile building those tunnels so if we uh we get off of this done done and done ah oh, look so many people using these uh using these bridges that's pretty neat i was worried at one point thinking oh you know what what is the point of building paths under the city? It is just taking up like resources and stuff, no? But since we built this, oh, of course we built the high density housing, which means there's a lot of people trying to get from one place to another. So yeah, I think building the uh, building the, the little subway walkthrough and these bridges, that's actually probably helping the traffic a lot. What we could probably end up doing is doing something with the well, the buses and the trams, they don't seem to be... There seems to be a tram stop there. Maybe there needs to be a tram stop there. Yeah, there's a lot of people waiting for a bus. In fact, it looks like... It looks like a carnival. That is terrifying and terrible. I am a terrible, terrible person. Uh, we could have put in like an airship or something there. But yeah, the city's looking pretty... Okay. Pretty big, actually. So hopefully, if... We now click on the... Yeah, look, all that traffic has disappeared from there. Nice. And it seems to be okay everywhere else. I mean, there's a few areas where it's red, but I think that's mostly because there's probably a vehicle just stopped there. I don't know if they stopped at a light or something. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We need... Oh, look. Ah, oh, all right. Let's demolish you. Or can we demolish you? Demolish time. Bam, done. Right, okay, let's get off of that. Let's get off of that as well. And let us start clicking on the roads because... Ooh, what do we need? Well, we need more industry and offices. We got plenty of offices there. We need uh, more commercial, but we also need more people. We have 12,800 population. So if we click on the, uh, the health, 
We need 14,000 people in order to get a crematorium. And that's one of the things that's worrying me. Space already occupied, space already occupied. Yes, I don't know how many people are occupying those spaces, though. Um, 790 of th uh, 3,000, 77 of 3,000. Okay, fine. And there is somewhere a way of working out how old all your population is. There we go. Mostly seniors in the central areas. Uh, mostly families in these areas around here. Yep. And mostly adults in the purple areas. So it looks like as people move into the city, they get old. Then they are going to need some spend some time in the old uh, graveyards. Yeah. Mm, depressing. But, but we need a, a better way of dealing with them. Maybe turning them into soil and green is, well... I mean, that's a way of doing it. Um, unfortunately, not an option at this time. Buy new land. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So, land, landscaping. Well, since we have the sun, where is the sun in the sky? Oh, it's nearly midday. If we hit pause, we have half a million big ones. I know what we're going to do. We're going to build out here. We're going to fill this area with more houses, more offices. We'll do it. I'm going to do it. So this is, so click on here, uh, this is the six lane road. So we're going to find the six lane road, which is going to be one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can we do a six lane raised decorative road? One, two. Huh. With three. <gasps> it turns into a bridge. That's curious. Okay. So yeah, no, you can't do it with trees. You can't do it with trees. Okay, well, I kind of figured that might be a thing. But uh, why does it want to suddenly put a bridge there? I'm guessing because it goes uphill. Ooh, that's uh, that's the thing. Yeah, you go beyond there. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So you've got the got the support pillars. We could actually put this underground, I was thinking the other day. I was like, you know, this road could probably just be put into a big old tunnel that might actually help but 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 it doesn't matter for the time being um what we also need to do is get off of that tool because it's uh it's kind of what do we build here oh that's the airship park isn't it yes of course it is so that's where the airships come in fine 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 more high density housing for everyone but why don't we do it properly like uh having a road with trams, which is falling around with trams. I think that's what we've got here. Yes, it is. Of course it is. So we'll build out here. Uh, if we build out here to... I just clicked randomly. I have no idea how many points long that was. That's what happens when it is. It's actually freezing cold at the moment. I'm going to demolish some of that road. We'll do it. It's bored. Yes, yeah, freezing cold here at the moment because we've got an Arctic blast coming in from Russia, actually. Yeah, Russia is uh, busy freezing our butts because, oh, look at that. There's a huge, I don't think we were able to do this like this. I was going to build a loop with the old uh, road. Yeah, so currently everything is getting a bit cold in the UK. And we're expecting snow and stuff, which if you're in Canada, you'll be like, ooh, it's snow, that is not a problem, no? In the UK, it's like, snow, ah, we're all going to freeze and then be on fire and then all other stuff. Because, uh, yeah, we're not really that prepared for snow in the UK. I do have a car now, but no snow chains. I wouldn't know what to do with a snow chain. I mean, do you put it on your head? Do you put it on the seats? I just, uh, I don't know. There is no reason for uh, having a vehicle with more than... I don't know where that sentence is going, actually. That's how unprepared for snow we are over here. We are looking at uh, putting loads of houses and stuff over here. I think we should probably probably link that road there. Oh, okay. That's going to be interesting when we start putting roads on the inside of this area. Um, 
Hmm, we should probably actually put commercial here. Oh, I don't know. The thing about this is I don't know how much... Uh, we've got the sound levels. Sound levels, sound levels, sound levels. Where are you? That's the wind, that's the health. That is citizen happiness. Everyone's happy, great, whatever. Uh, crime, crummy crimes, population, no. One of these is sound. I don't know which the... What is the button? Disaster, radio coverage. Every time I touch the side of the screen, the camera moves. That's hilarious. Heating, ah, uh, no, terrain, districts, is that, I thought it was a cat for a minute. Natural resources, no. It's one of these, oh, there it is, it's the, it's the freaking headphones. That's, I'm pretty dumb. So, this office area doesn't really kick out that much in the way of sound. This industrial area does. I wonder if we just mow down the industrial area and just fill it full of offices? Hmm. Hmm, curious. I think this could be residential and this can be offices and never the twain shall meet. We also need uh okay, so this yeah, this is gonna be easy. Easy peasy, fine. Uh we will hit up some roads. Uh smaller roads. And we will fill in why don't we just fill in this entire area with uh Offices here. Um, we put some, uh, put some other stuff. The blue stuff. Oh my commercial! Wow, it's been a while since I played this. Uh, why don't we just put a grid system in for the time being? So we'll do that, and then we'll do. That's not going to work. It's going to work much better for what we need it to do, and then, bam. So we'll use the American grid system for this. Uh, and then what we can do is put in... Ooh, let's put it from here. <gasps> is that going to work? There is an existing junction there. Let's just come off the existing junction, shall we? Yes. I believe that will suffice. We don't need to make it good. We just need to make it work. I think that's, uh, that, that is going to be the motto. As far as this goes, what we're going to need to do is kind of come off here. Blam. Okay. And then let's do another one through here. Huh. <sighs> okay, fine. Yeah, that, that kind of works. That kind of works. Um, in terms of people trying to get from places to places or place to place, uh, what we should do is, I think, I think, I think, oh my word, that wasn't even proper English. Uh, I think what we should do is complete this bridge here. So let's go up by one. And two, and then go to there, and then uh, I don't like the way that's turning into a turning into a bridge. Hmm. It kind of limits our choices. Blam. So let's do that, and then blam. Okay, cool. We should probably uh, link this with the rest of the road. Well, we can do that some other time. That gives us some options here, though. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what we could probably do is, hmm, curious and more curious. We could probably just put a road straight through there. So let's do that. Let's put a road straight through there. And uh, straight through there. <gasps> yeah. Okay, cool. And then uh, let us hit this and change that to boop. So road with trees, road with trees. So we get the trees in here. Just kind of all over the place. Road trees? I believe so. Let's put some road trees there. And then uh, another one there. So we go blam, blam, and then blam. And just kind of just kind of get them trees in there. Cool. We're still on. We're still on the noise pollution dinghy. Uh, let's do this. There we go. There we go. We've been, we've been working in grayscale for so long. Color. It kind of burns my eyes. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we need... What do we need? Commercial... And we need, ooh, high density commercial. Yes, please. All right, high density commercial there, 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 there. Okay, we'll fill this in, fill this in, because we, we left that last time. We were like, ooh, this is high density commercial, no? Well, we do not know what's going to be here. We may like, like fill this in with chips or something. Oh, no, the rope is going there. That's why we didn't fill it in. So high density commercial is now here. Uh, high density 
living space can be here and hopefully that's going to get more people into the city to get all the stuff that's still locked and stuff here now i tell you what let's fill that in there and if we just bring up the brush there we go so we brush into there so that can be yes i like it let's do that and then uh regular commercial low density commercial mm, high density commercial offices uh we could put offices there let's do low density commercial for the time being let's just fill that in with low density commercial for a reason that is beyond my comprehension no um basically i think in in this uh, very built up area the low density is probably going to allow people to come down have their little shoppy shops but not necessarily disturb too much around where where like having huge department stores or whatever might cause them some issues don't know we're still learning the game we're still learning the game office zone so we need some of this so hide them on for industry or offices so these can be just like hugely uh uh, dense office zone here. We can fill that in now because we know the road where, where the road is and what it's doing. Cool. So that's done. That's sorted. So we've got our office in there, which was nice as an idea. But now this is just straight up. Let's get some stuff in town. Let's get things moving. Uh, the other thing we need to do is obviously get some water in here. Otherwise, people will be like, oh, you know what? I do not think I can uh, carry on. There's no water because I'm. It's so firstly like the desert, no? And um, that'll be right. That'll be right. So we'll just throw another one straight up the middle. So the pipes are all linked up. Brilliant. Brilliant. Cool. So if we now... Uh, is there anything else we need? Probably not. Oh, we could probably do a little bit with the, the old making people walk all over the place trick. Because people are going to want to move all over the place. Wow. They've got little car parks in the back. That's kind of neat. Huh. Okay. So what we did last time is we... Uh, the paths came across and then we, all the people are walking under here. Uh, this is kind of a main road here as well. We could probably do the same thing there. And have a... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, we don't want a canal. We want a path. So what we'll do is we will uh, build a path. In fact, we go down one. There we go. And uh, if we build it under here, blammo. Uh, that is, uh, no, that's right. That is right. That is right. We just take off the, oh, I can't see. I was gonna take, take off the end, but that's gonna take off all of it. All right, okay, fine. Go from here to here. Okay, right click to get rid of that. Uh, click here and then bring this up to ground level uh, in the most efficient way possible. There, there we go. And then we'll do the same here. So we click there uh, and bring it up to ground level. Construction too steep. Hmm, I can't really see what's going on there. Sorry, your houses are going to have to go once I've worked out what level we're on well that's just upset a bunch of people so we will click here and then oh, okay that was the reason so we can click here and then we can bring it up and construction to see too steep blammo okay a lot of people got really upset by that but it's kind of going to help them in the not too distant future uh, we can also do the same thing across here i guess and have uh, have this linked up. So we go back on the ground, click there, click to there, I guess, and then have that come up to the, the surface. Blam, done. So now we have uh, the pedestrians, they can walk under the street if they need to go anywhere, and they're not going to walk across a main road and stop all the traffic. Speaking of traffic, see what's going on here. Uh, routes, junctions, so we click, ooh, are we, we actually have something selected. Okay, I don't want that selected. I don't want anything selected. Can we get off of this? Let's get off of that. Okay, now we're off of everything. Fine. Uh, so click here, junctions. Oh, key dokey. We don't need traffic lights here, here. 
Uh, probably... Oh, go away. Don't need traffic lights there. Or there. Uh, probably not there either. So let's get rid of these. Just help everything move faster around the city. Uh, what about here and here? I've left a few in. I don't think it's really necessary. Uh, let's remove that. Okay. Okay. Right. Good. So if we get rid of that... Uh, just click on that. Yeah, we can click on that. Right, let's get rid of this. Uh, away, away with ye. And hit play. Right, good. So, all this should now fill in. So we should have more high density commercial, uh, more high density residential. We should have our high density commercial, which will pop in here and we we'll get to see it for the first time. And then our office space should fill in here. Education is kind of being taken care of by a lot of this stuff here. Transport is probably not in this area over here it's not exactly well it's not exactly the suburbia we built over here which is really nice leafy suburbs lots of places for you to sort of uh go up and fields for people to run around in and places for dogs to be dogs here it's more a case of well it's a little depressing it's kind of like brooklyn but less parks. Oh, they've got flags! Oh, a little Union flag! Oh, wow, that's pretty neat. I guess it's less like Brooklyn and more like Landan, which is what we call London, because we don't speak properly over here. Oh, yeah, we do have, we do have transport. If you want to fly over the city in a big helium-powered um, blimp with a donut sign on the side, that's actually pretty neat. So immediately the uh, office space is filling up and the is this commercial outlet shop is that really commercial it looks more like a block of flats with a couple of shops in the bottom hmm i wonder what's going to happen as the city expands and gets i guess richer i wonder if these will turn into instead of like shops in the bottom of a block of flats i wonder if they'll actually turn into uh, like proper office buildings or like the Apple store <gasps> yeah maybe don't know people are using the subway though little uh, under under road subway for foot peoples they're all running under there although some people are running across the street which is most interesting I don't know why they would do that uh, it's just a dog there's a person with a dog it's called dog all right good so the city is expanding, and we now have... Oh, we have 13,000 13, people. Okay, well, I guess a uh, very low demand for residential. Let's speed this up. Speed it up, fun time! Oh, my word. There's a lot of places that need to be demolished. I'm sorry. Let's demolish that and that. And that tiny place there. Is there any, anywhere else that needs to go? No. So we are we're actually okay at the moment. So we have built... Ah, oh, there's another place. There's a tiny little place there. I suppose the trouble with these tiny little uh, places caused by little uh, like wobbly roads and things is they're a little bit tricky to get to. I think there is a mod you can get which auto auto knocks down uh, derelict places. I have a feeling if it's anything like SimCity, the derelict places will also cause you issues with fire, being a fire hazard and crime and things. Maybe. Don't know. Just guessing. So, yay! Night falls once more on the city. The traffic is... Uh, it's not too, too bad. It's moving. It's flowing, at least. Oh, we're a big city! Population of 14,000! So we can get the crematorium. Yes! The water treatment plant. Double yes. The floating garbage collector. What? Uh, lessons water pollution. A floating building must be placed on water. And the crypto preser preserv What? Clinically deceased technology um, until it comes around to revive them. Wait, what? All right. Let's do what we set out to do before. That is demolish these things and replace them with a cram. So let's do that. Crematorium. Are you kidding me? It's tiny. Ah. <sighs> It's so small. We could probably fit it in somewhere. Like between the school and the... Um, eh, put it around next to the road. 
Is that gonna is that gonna get everyone? It's gonna get most people actually. Uh, if we put it somewhere, it's actually yeah, that is actually not too too bad. Um, put it here. Oh, so this is the, the sprawling city. We're gonna have to have a couple of them. So if we put one here, here, we need to get all of our residential pe peeps. Um, we can attach it here somewhere. Yeah, let's throw one in there. Blam, everyone's really happy about that. Yay, we get to be on fire. Good. Uh, pop one in here. Yay, we also get to be on fire. And I guess one in... Oh, let's pop it in here. Blam. Cool. So let's sort that out. Um, you tell what? I'll tell you what you, we're going to do. We're also going to click on this. And um, we're going to say uh, empty building to another facility. Let's do it. And we'll go empty building to another facility. We'll do it because these things are good, but I have a feeling they'll just fill up and then they'll become useless. So we'll empty those. Uh, what? 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 Why? What is that symbol? It kind of looks like a. I don't even know what that symbol is. So cool. Uh, what else was there? There was a thing with the waterworks. <gasps> Yay! What is this? Water treatment. Uh, don't pump raw sewage into the body's water. You can build a water treatment set to reduce the environment. Um, to purifies eighty percent of the pollution sewage. Eco water treatment plant. Hmm. Okay. Was a floating garbage collector. Boiler station. No. Oh, that's for that's for if you're playing on a cold map. Floating garbage collector. What is this? So if we put a floating garbage collector here, what does it do? Garbage processing status. Blam. Still not okay to thrash in the water, even though we have a new floating garbage collector. Uh, let's put one there and uh, let's put one there. Space already occupied. Oh, because the... All right. Blam. Okay. So if we put these two in, is that going to help the pollution? I have, I have literally no idea. Um, Because this place looks like... Well, it, it looks terrible. Uh, it's doing something, though. Sort of bobbing up and down on the crest of a wave in the dark. In terms of power, what do we got? Power is... Uh, okay, actually. Water is... Okay. And the city is... Uh, and the city is filling up. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the offices, they look like ass uh, for the time being. And the high-density housing looks like ass for the time being. We can probably build these and forget about them. I like the way that they are all up on the hillside, though. That's kind of nice. The road, well, it hasn't been connected to anything at this point. So it is very much an empty bridge just sort of crossing the uh, the center of the city. Everything's getting off at this point point we could probably add another um another on off ramp system that uh, would probably help just so that everyone can actually get onto or off of the ramp here without having to cross through the city i mean it's supposed to be the main thoroughfare through the city i think that would be for another episode though yes 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 i thought we spent a time time is not sped up time is now sped up that's much better the temperature outside is 6.7 degrees celsius which is fine it's looking a bit more it's looking a bit more lively and it's looking a bit more like a city yeah i do like the way that the city oh the sun is up nice nice i do like the way the city is built in different stages and with the different stages it reflects um like different needs at the time so this first area was just a grid section to get all the all the little houses in and then we built out to build the uh, the industrial area and then we just kind of expanded and threw in a roundabout as things were needed and then we could get a bit more creative with the residential sector uh or residential area sorry um then we still have this corridor of stuff up the middle which is sort of a, an access corridor for things 
Is this empty now? Empty and finished. Ah, good. We can destroy it. Goodbye. Uh, yes, I want to destroy it. The building is not empty. Everyone's really upset about that. But it's fine because we got the crematoriums online. And if we, so we click on this. It is uh, deceased stored. 680 out of 3,000. So yeah, we were probably right to build the crematoriums. And they take up way less space and are going to be uh, much more useful in dealing with an aging population. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of how I, how I thought it might be. Uh, mostly adults, mostly seniors, mostly families. So these are now sort of being replaced by mostly families. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. You know what? You know what? You know what? I think I'm going to leave it there. So, uh, obviously, if you like the series, definitely leave, uh, leave a little like. Leave a subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. And you know what? I will catch you guys next time.